the number of roguelites. It's too damn high. Hello indie game fans, I'll admit, there have been more roguelites than usual covered recently, but I promise those in this video are pretty good, such as Bravery and Greed, a pixel art roguelite platformer with quite a classic fantasy setting, where the developers self-describe this as a dungeon crawling brawler with what looks to be fun combat. It looks excellent with friends, and with a release planned for 2022, keep an eye on this. The developer of Gilded Eternal did reach out as well, where this is a repeatable run-based arcade action title that stops short of calling itself a roguelite, where it is all about hoarding gold, looking similar to games like Super Crate Box, which is why it got my attention. This video is brought to you by Afogato, a reverse tower defense RPG that seems to have influence from Persona and Coffee Talk. You play as the titular character, a sorceress who runs a cafe, who gets to meet and befriend all sorts of customers and even delve into their minds to help with defeating their inner demons. The reverse tower defense or tower offense title has you and a party of characters moving through the lanes where you have to time special powers and use ability cards at the right time while deciding on the path that you want to take. In between those sections are a number of management systems where you have to choose what to do with your limited amount of time during the day, whether it be focusing on profit, getting to know the characters better or to upgrade your cards. There is a whole coffee brewing system in this which will have a knock-on effect on the progress of the story and relationships with characters, but the highlight has to be the gorgeous anime art. A demo of this will be released on the 29th of July, but in the meantime, wishlist the game via the link in the description below. Just one Kickstarter game on this list with Count Pumcula, another pixel art entry that looks good where you play as Dracula with a pumpkin stuck on his head and in line with the theme is planned for an October 2023 release, coming to us from a self-taught solo developer which reminds me of the story of Haiku the Robot. What the hell? While well, it has been done before, I like the look of The Workplace of Madness, a survival horror title that uses 2D pixel art sprites and 3D environmental objects with horrifying monsters lurking in the workplace. <laughs> Chess and golf are two areas in which indie developers always innovate in, with King's Gauntlet Chess Revolution being another example, turning this into a multiplayer competitive twin stick shooter where you're able to summon chess pieces which will attack your enemies, looking very cleverly designed. Checkmate! An amazing looking co-op title is Blanc, one where you and a friend play as a wolf cub and a fawn, having to work together to survive in the snowy wilderness or on a quest to find their families. It looks very cozy and does remind me of Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, easily making its way onto my wishlist and my heart. This is where things get dicey with the top 3 beginning with Vertical Kingdom, a pixel art city and deck building title where you have to build magnificent vertical kingdoms that look absolutely amazing. It looks like another relaxing city builder like Dothromantic or Islanders where I really like the look of this. Also announced quite a while back is Wild Frost, a roguelite tactical deck builder that looks absolutely amazing, coming to us from artist Gazita, who I've been following on Twitter for the longest time, and developer Deadpan Games, who made the excellent Cave Blazers. Found this cave and there was this old man in there, and he told me it was too dangerous to go in, so I jostled him about a bit, took my clothes off, dyed my hair blonde, and went in. I'll show him. There might be some influence of Triple Triad in this, where you are placing cards on a grid and their abilities interact with other cards but I love it for the arts alone and hope the systems are great. Developer Pastec Games is best known for the excellent roguelite Curse of the Dead Gods, where the next title is named Raven's Watch, another awesome looking action roguelite which might make my list of the best someday. <laughs> 